today's crock pot squash. It's really easy. I got this squash today at, uh, it's butternut squash, at the local farmer's market. And you start by cutting it and preparing it and getting the seeds out. And then we're going to put it in the crock pot. So I find the easiest way is to just cut it into chunks and then peel it. to cut them into slices that are about the same thickness so they cook evenly. You want to cut them so that they all fit into your crock pot. This is a nice small one to fit all this stuff. You want to arrange it so it fits in the best that it can. And just remember, as it cooks, it's going to smoosh down. Now, to the squash, I add chunks of butter. And also brown sugar. But just a little, not too much. And then we put the cover on it and we let it cook. So after you cook this, the butternut squash until it's nice and mushy, it's going to take in the crock pot a couple of hours at least. And what I like doing is, this is one of my favorite things, is the um, immersion blender. And you just take the lid off, put it in, keep it tilt, keep your blender tilted a little bit to help incorporate air, and it won't burn out the motor that way. And this immersion blender will pure, puree just about anything. And uh, another thing that's really nice about it is if your squash is a little fibery and stringy, the blender will just pulverize it and make it nice and smooth. This thing works great for apples, for applesauce if you cook them a little bit or pears. It'll work wonderful in hot soups if you want to make um, potato leek soup and you have to pulverize that. So it works wonderful. And I added no, no extra water, that was just the squash, the butter, and some brown sugar. <laughs> 